this is really a quite a remarkable breakthrough. And I want to utilize the word breakthrough. I'm implying research breakthrough, not to be confused with other words of the moment. This is an incredible research breakthrough. Now, a little bit of backstory. The researchers, what they were attempting to do is they were attempting to improve upon a procedure called autologous chondrocyte implantation, otherwise known as ACI. Generally, where they remove human cartilage, regrow it, and then implant it back. And the intent here is to reduce the need for joint replacement surgeries. But what they discovered, and they went through a huge uh, array of basically antioxidants. And this one rising star had a remarkable effect. And it's a common element found in food. We're looking at gallic acid. When they took gallic acid, keep in mind in the lab setting, and they applied it to these human cartilage cells, interesting things began to occur. The reduction of inflammation or inflammatory markers, the increased deposition of collagen, as well as glycosaminoglycans, and a bunch of other things. In their words, they said, quote unquote, at least in a lab setting, reverse osteoarthritis. Now, the structure that they used, particular machine, basically emulated what it would be to just incorporate regular walking, per se. But what a remarkable discovery, because the cool part about it is it doesn't mean osteoarthritis has to be a gradual degradation over time, an erosion of the cartilage. Then maybe, possibly, this lab study opens the door to finding possible therapeutics to reverse what we would once consider an inevitable outcome. So with that in mind, let us proceed. Gallic acid and stretching decrease osteoarthritis markers in cartilage cells. Discovered while trying to improve upon a procedure called autologous chondrocyte implementation, or ACI, which involves moving cartilage cells from the joint and growing them to large numbers and reimplanting them. To reiterate, a team led by Washington State University researchers used gallic acid, the antioxidants, found in gallnuts, green tea, and other plants. At the end, I'm going to give you a few other choices too uh, from the phenol compound library uh, that has also very high in gallic acid as well. Just to give you options. When you look at the picture of uh, uh, gallnuts in Wikipedia, you go, eh. But still, just the same, there's other options out there. In other plants, it applied a stretching mechanism to human cartilage cells taken from arthritic knees that mimics the stretching that occurs when walking. The combination not only decreased arthritis inflammation markers in the cells, but improved reduction of desired proteins normally found in healthy cartilage. Quote, we found the combined stretching, which acts like exercise for the cell itself with the gallic acid, decreased inflammation markers, which means, quote unquote, we were able to reverse osteoarthritis. Quote, it's basically like having good exercise and a good diet on a micro scale or a lab setting. The laboratory tests suggest that gallic acid is the most effective antioxidant for neutralizing the free radicals and osteoarthritic cartilage cells. Now again, keep in mind, they went through an entire library of antioxidants and this one was the rising star. The researchers then applied the gallic acid and added stretching utilizing a cytostructure. structure. Uh, they set a stretching level to 5%, a level that matches the stretch in human knees when walking. The combination decreased inflammation markers known as matrix metalloproteinases, metalloproteinases, proteinases, and increased the deposition of collagen and glycosaminoglycans, which are compounds that give connective tissue the integrity, tensile strength, and resistance to compressive forces from the body weight on the joints. The stretching of gallic acid also increased the expression of two other cartilage-specific proteins. The study shows a potential way to develop a similar procedure by first treating the cartilage cells while growing them into a tissue that could be then reimplanted. Again, not just basically in life itself, but also as far as other future medical procedures. So basically, again, it's breaking the dogma of cartilage not being able to reproduce or reproduce poorly as time moves forward. They were able to do it in a lab setting, which once that door is open, it opens a lot of other doors following when people start asking greater and greater questions and those answers need to be bet to proceed. Quote, this provides some evidence that a good diet and an exercise and an exercise actually work. 
even for people who have mild osteoarthritis. It's really good to exercise. It's very bad. I love this part. It's very bad for our cartilage tissue just to lay down or sit the whole day. Obviously, there's more to you than just the cartilage tissue, but I like that uh, that basically that, that very, very focused look at exactly what they were researching at the time. So not good for cartilage to lay around and sit around all day. All right, keep it in mind. We have to have a little bit of activity. So real fast, here is probably the phenol compound library. You see the raw chest done in clove, super, super high in gallic acid. Again, there may be other food sources as well. Please feel free to put the comments in the section as far as other high food sources high in gallic acid. But again, it's a lab setting. Now, as far as dietary intake and elements along those lines, that'll have to be uh, conducted in future tests to see if that plays out into basically the real world. But now we have a key. That gallic acid is effectively utilized by human cartilage in the person, as opposed to lab setting, that could be an incredibly cool breakthrough on a dietary level for just about everyone, as well as a breakthrough for uh, alleviating the need for joint replacement surgery by taking a little bit of cartilage, putting a little bit of gallic acid on it, regrowing it, and getting those markers in place and implanting it back so it actually takes hold and benefits the person itself. Again, as always, gratitude to the researchers. I'm so always humbled by you watching, and I look forward to you all once again next week. Take care of that. Bye.